that's what we proposed. You and your emails have been talking about free rent, and it was never free. Well, of course. Yeah, 110, and the name of their company is Assurant, 
And if you're on, on Riverstone Residential, they're, they're like a sub-corporation of um, Riverstone. Property. Is that of any concern to them? You know, when, when, when I got rid of the mattress, I didn't get as many bites the next night. The hard floors, I mean, I got rid of some of the bugs that way. Well, okay, I understand. I think it's easier to talk. It's perfect. Also, okay, here's another idea I have is, the, um, with my mother, my, my mother definitely has the bigger move at hand. Could you come up with a package for her and maybe let me kind of help deal with the negotiations, and then maybe we could just leave my, my situation up in the air, pending my talking to the PSU Legal Counsel, Lynn Clark. And What, what about, like, each of those futons was, was like, they're, two, they're like $400 futons, but I got them on sale. How about a reimbursement for 100 and 100 of each futon? I mean, I have the receipts. I haven't delivered to the view in June. And what about uh, like the dry cleaning and laundry of at least a hundred extra dollars? Because my mom has spent that at least. all my things, like to ask for $100 of laundry, $100 for the, each futon, and then, I mean, the $70 for storage and, and the dry cleaning. charged us for these things that have been Riverstone's damage to us, the, the dry cleaner doesn't tell us this is, like, we don't have to pay them real money. And, and then, why, why, I mean, Russ, as a negotiator, if you ask for 3000 with a $500 
upsell for all of our clothing that is all damaged and garbage and junk, our mattresses, our sleeping bags, our, our comforters, and, and give that some leeway. See what you can work with there. If you, you have a reasonable documentation as to why you're asking for that, what are they going to come up with, like 2800 or... Okay, so at the end of the month is Sunday, right? I, I think we're we're getting pretty close. I haven't I've been really busy with school. Like I haven't even checked in. Yeah. Yeah, and also what I what I want as with normal like a normal tenancy, you're gonna have like a three weeks or a month before you get your deposit because because this whole scenario has been so upsetting. Yeah, like. Yeah. Great. No, 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 no. It was a very different claim, and it was a very complicated slum I was living in. 
It was electricity, water, dripping, leaky ceilings, blah, blah, blah. It, it's not, I mean, it's not very interesting. It was wrapped by that Zedek, the uh, housing defense law. And I, I brought my claim because of the electricity outages and the elevators and the falling apart ceiling and no water. I mean, we had water three days, five days a week only. Well, there was a, there was, there were bed bugs in other parts of the building, but they did mandatory sprays that were invasive and threatened me with eviction. But my bed bug uh, expert who came in was determined that I didn't have them. Ras, you know there was a long-term case of bed bugs in this building. There was a huge, the, the guy who's moving out in 30 days, he had a serious infection. I mean, we don't really have to discuss the facts of that. You know as well as I do that this building has a history of bed bugs. They did not say that, and they rushed us through the signing of the contract. They pushed us through that. They did not give us time.
able to just see the value of getting rid of us. I don't, I'm really confused by it. Um, he's, he's really out to lunch. I'm not sure what's up with that. Yeah. Yeah, they, yeah, I, I think that my brother said they just have a few dishes to pack up, and basically I could be out of here tomorrow evening. Oh, I mean, we've already, 
What if we were out of here? Let's see, we've got also, we pay through the 31st. What if we were out of here? Tomorrow's the 29th. What about you're getting the pro rating back on the 30th and the 31st? Uh, gosh, I think, I'm confused because I feel like it could even have been, I just remember it sounded terribly low. It might have been 400, it might have been 200. Well, no, no, I'm really not sure. I think it was incredibly low, though. Uh, well, altogether, she's eight ninety nine, and I'm seven ninety nine. Yeah, yeah. So nine. I mean, she's roughly thirty a day, and I'm like roughly, I don't know, twenty seven a day. So that's sixty. And then what if you add like a per, an addendum like up to 3000 and whatever the, the remainder is, $400 for non-specified damaged clothing and property, which we have discarded. like a gift certificate to Macy's or something so we could go replace those clothes? You know what, Lisa Rose promised us she would have all of our clothing fumigated. And because she's been incommunicado and so distracted that she won't get in touch with us and or she's relying on you guys to sort it out between us, we've thrown away good property that we probably could have gotten the heat treatment that she was originally offering. Well, and it's like, how can we be out of here tomorrow without massive discarding of our property on such short notice? getting turned on over the next place tomorrow so so like the, that's all that matters to me and I've got I, everything I own is in storage and or destroyed well if you had told me you're moving all of your personal clothing in here to be ravaged by bed bugs I would have said absolutely not I'm not interested Thank you very much for the offer. Yeah. 
Yeah, and would that be a check cut tomorrow, or would that be in 10 days? Yeah, and then... Turn in our fees. Yeah. Well, you know, if anybody else needs to get out of their lease, it's important for there to be a prior record of the infestation. Well, do you know how, I mean, it's so easy to delete that whole thing. I don't understand why Riverstone's not more concerned. And moved out by midnight with 
Yeah, the only trouble is going to be our mail forwarding. I don't know if we processed that. And at some point, I want to be. Okay. Okay, because, uh, yeah, that would be good. And so that's roughly if those deposits are 220. Thank you. 